guys. So right now it is a late um, Tuesday night um, and I got the nudge to um, create. So I don't know if this is going to be a full on separate video or if it's going to be included in a vlog, but I wanted to make sure I recorded this for you. So excuse if my voice sounds a little bit mellow. It is late, not as much energy, but I still want to record this for you guys. Um, just the process of making a new design. So um, this design that I'm going to show you guys right now, um, or the design I'm going to be doing, was inspired by Splash, Splashy Nails. Um, this is them on Instagram. Here you go, such pretty designs. Um, and I was inspired by this set. Now, what I'm gonna do is something similar, but I d chose these colors. So my base coat is marshmallow, which is very similar um, to this, especially once the other colors are on, on there. It's gonna be a very like very beautiful nude pink that goes perfect with any skin tone. Um, and then what I decided to do is I'm still gonna do um, the C curve, I believe. Now I'm kind of questioning if I should do maybe like half a C curve and then the other side some like outline. I've seen something cool like that so you guys will see what I decide to do. Um, but I feel like this bandana is already too intricate on this nail. Um, I'm just going through the thought process here with you guys, so bear with me. This is literally what goes in my head. I am extremely indecisive sometimes. Sometimes I need hubby to like t tell me, like, hey, no, that doesn't even make sense. Or, like, which one is it that you like best? And he helps me kind of regrain like put my thoughts together and <laughs> decide um so i think that for this design in particular um let's see if the glare there for this design in particular um if you see here it's already a tiny space with the c curve um for that design that bandana design so i'm just going to stick with the c curve um because or else you wouldn't even be able to appreciate um the design if i were to do a half c curve and then lines so i'm just going to do the half c curve for now maybe i'll add lines on top of that or something like that but that's what i'm going with right now i'm gonna show you guys the lineup my color lineup here um so this is gonna go from thumb to pinky like this um so i'm gonna do madonna uh fairy pink uh grenaldine sorry i don't know how to pronounce that grenadine Grenal Gren there's no l there sorry guys i do that and my mexican accent does not mix <laughs> grenadine 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 i think <laughs> coral touch and peach thakiri. Um, so I kind of lifted these. I kind of saw if they went together. I'm hoping they do. This is what I came up with. And if a color doesn't work out, I'll switch it out for another color. Um, but that is just what I'm going to work with. I am going to put little dabs, dots of um, each gel on this um, flyer paper here so that I can use my liner brush. Um, and my liner brush is going to be this one. Um, it'll be linked down below for you guys in the Amazon storefront. And let's just get to it. I'll probably do a time lapse for this part and then come back and talk to you guys through the bandana part.
you guys saw in the time lapse, I did these four already. So, so pretty. I love the combination of these colors. I was afraid that I wouldn't like how they turned out or just how all of them mixed. Um, definitely a little bit brighter than it's showing up on camera, but they are stunning. Um, so lastly, I'm just going to put pink, um, peach dakiri um, in the pinky and I just thought I would give you guys a real time of this. I am you guys are also gonna see me slash you saw in the time lapses um that I am filming a TikTok at the same time. So like I've said before you guys um always think ahead if you guys are doing this business, nail business, any business um just anything can be a TikTok or content. And if I didn't use this phone to film and I had two extra phones or if hubby was here, I probably would have gotten a couple different versions of this set so that just by doing this set, it takes me a couple extra seconds, maybe a minute total, um, and I get more content out of it. So you guys will see me... Um, record a couple of clips um so like for right now i'm going to record a clip of me putting some of this here um so let's move that out of the way and then okay and then like that okay Alrighty. And then after that, I am going to record again after I have the outline. So. Okay, so the reason I'm taking a little bit longer here is that I don't want any um, little like droplets on it. I want just like a even a layer um, on the brush uh, so that I avoid any... <laughs> mistakes by having um thicker spots or like more product more gel in certain spots um i'm gonna start in the middle here right here and i'm gonna curve it to one side okay i'm gonna start there and at the end i'm just gonna make sure that it is even that the curve that everything here is even so let me just okay this is a perfect example so one side is less curved in than the other one and that's okay it happens um but just make sure that you notice it and since everything is going to be filled in i could just adjust it here and that is a bit more how it should be and then here I want to curve it a bit more okay so I like how this looks and I recommend especially if you're a press on nail artist and you have I definitely recommend a magnetic stand like I have and we do sell these on the website and the reason I like this is because I can really see it from all angles when you have something that is set in stone that you cannot move, it's a little bit harder to get in there. Um, so that's why I prefer these. So make sure you are moving it from all angles. And right now I can see that this one can be brought in a bit more. Just slightly. I just had to make sure it wasn't crooked. Okay, I like that outline. So now what I'm going to do is I was cleaning my brush in between all of these so that I can put that away. And this only has um, alcohol. I keep it in a little pump. Um, and I'm going to put away my... Stri Actually, no. <laughs> I'm going to need it for the bandana. So I'm just going to put it to the side. Um, I'm going to film a clip really quickly so this is just taking me a couple extra seconds there we go and then what i'm gonna do is fill it in so i grab the brush now and i'm just gonna fill in this space being careful around the outline but the 
the reason I like doing the outline first now is because now I have that there and I know where to stop and I was very detailed and I just have to be careful not to go over it. Um, I can do it with my brush and you guys have probably seen me do it in previous vlogs where like I just use my brush to do this like outline. It's definitely a lot more detailed with a brush than it would be I'm um, sorry, with the liner brush, let me specify, than it would be with the gel brush. Um, and when I'm doing something like high maintenance, which is like a cheetah print on top of it, I don't mind using the brush because um, cheetah print is going to go on top of some of the outline parts so it's not going to be noticeable if like I didn't do a perfect job but for something like this where it is going to be noticeable I prefer to use my um, striper brush so now I'm just going to make sure that all of these are closed um, because I do not want any accidents if you guys have been here for a while you guys know that I am very accident prone the last thing I want is to flare out gel all over the place. Okay, so now I'm just going to film another clip here. Like that. And then I'm going to film a clip putting it inside the lamp. Okay, okay so I'm going to put that in the lamp. Um, and, and then next up. I'm really liking this. I'm actually thinking about doing, because the initial plan or the reason why I went with these colors was because we have a set called Bubblicious on the website. Um, and it is just full colors of um, pinks, like different tones of pink. Um, and different tones of pink. And I, at first I thought I would just use those same pink colors um but then i kind of started pulling other ones and i really wanted like a more summery version because this is a summery version but i wanted to incorporate some like orangey peachy tones um so this was the original idea then i went with this and as soon as that one's out i will pull it and let you guys see it there you go so I feel like this is a lot more summery and I think I'm going to make a version like this, like different um, full covered um, with these colors. And I also think I'm going to make a version just like this without the bandana on top um, to put up on the website. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that because I'm thinking this would be a really good seller and it would be such a pretty set for summer and any vacation or anything like that. Um, so... And now what I'm going to do is take a picture so I don't forget to do this. And I'm also going to take a picture of the gels so that I know which ones I used. Although I could always go back to this um, video as well. Okay, so the next step here, as you guys can see with the inspo pick right here, um we're gonna need white and black to create this bandana look um so i have a black gel pod and i used to have a white one as well but i ran out so no biggie i'm just gonna use um daisy from the gel bottle which is a white and i will dab some here so that i can put it pick it up with the brush um and then i'm also going to pull up a um, bandana just picture so I can reference it here and then just go to images okay okay so I'm definitely going to simplify this version, but I'm going to try and incorporate it. Although this is a tiny canvas, so we'll see what we come up with. I am going to put you guys on a time lapse again and then maybe show you guys like the last one detailed again.
Okay guys, so this is the update here. Um, I am in love with how it is so far. It's turning out so far. Um, if you saw in the beginning of the time lapse, um, I was doing a lot more black in these two and I quickly um, changed it up because I did not like how the color combo was um, looking with more black. Um, I like it better like this with more white um, and then black as accents because of the colors that I chose. Um, now I just need to do um, this thumb and I just have to decide what I want to do with it. Um, in the inspo pick, it's like this. Um, but let's see what we come up with. I'm going to do a real time, I believe, right now. Um, just so you guys can see this. I kind of want to write batty up the like upwards here or like I don't know if I can curve it and do it here I think maybe I'm gonna write the letters first. I'm gonna do the letters first. And I think I'm gonna do them in black. Just so that I can have that out of the way and outlined and I don't have to worry about it later. So. Okay. Start off here. I think I need I'm being really indecisive guys. I think I think this one's gonna be too thick. Yeah. <laughs> you look good. Hey, my finger's not done, but. Because you were recording the mess. Alright. <laughs> I look tired? Yeah, hella tired. Wow! Wow, babe. Good job. This is dope. Thanks. <clears throat> Big props to you, baby. You do a really good job. Thanks. <laughs> it only took me like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you looked at like bandanas nonstop for the past two hours. What time is it? How'd you know? I had a feeling. It's 1.05 a.m. And then look, like remember I had shown you this. I used this as inspo and then added and changed a little bit. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I liked it better with more white mm -hmm. with these colors. And then like I think I added a bit more detail in some places. And then, but I really liked how she did like this, right? But I'm really bad at words, and I just tried like a whole bunch of different things. So I think if I do words, I think I might cheat and have like, like stickers. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Dilemma for tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, you guys. So I used these old English letters um I forget if I was filming but I did try hand um painting some letters but I don't think I have the correct um 
the correct brushes so i tried with this one and it's too long so it kind of wobbles the wrong way um i tried with this which is like more like a calligraphy pen um but again i couldn't get like the the swirls and again it might just be that i have to practice as well i did try this one but it was too stiff um so i will definitely practice in this like new um, just creativeness and just um, making whatever I feel like and feel inspired by I definitely will be practicing a lot more hand painting and that will include letters um, so oops so I just put some uh, calligraphy here like uh, not it's old English not calligraphy I just put some old English letters and again I could possibly try I mean I I'm pretty good at um, old English but um, with like a full nail if like I have the full nail to work with um, I can get it done and I can show you guys a picture here. I'll have them insert it of like a set that I've done in the past where I've done um, the old English and it turns out pretty well. It's just having to do it on such a small scale. That's the problem for me. So I may try one more time just because I do want it to be all hand painted. But so far, I really love this. I'm just going to finish up the um, bandana look here. And then I will be completely done with this set. I will top coat. I'm so, so excited to see it all come together. Um, but that is the quick a little update here. And I was about to take off the letters. I'll show you guys. I like had asked hubby. He's downstairs. Skip the words. He's like, looks very nice. Keep them. <laughs> um, so he is sometimes the deciding factor between my indecisiveness, like I said earlier, I can like be my own, like be in my head and sabotage my own design. So it happens even to me. <laughs> okay, let's get on with this. Let's finish this set. I'm excited to see it and then see it on. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to, I think, try one last time. And what I'm going to do is not stick this on, but have it as a reference right here. And then I'm going to try... Also, this is not the correct, um, let me move you guys. This is definitely not the correct um, gel to be using. I like the pod, the gel pod thing. I'm actually going to place an order later today so I can get that again because I only have the black one currently. And what the other one does is it's not runny and it's a little bit thicker consistency. So you're able to work with it. Um, and draw out and swirl and stuff but I'm gonna try with what I have currently and see if I can make this work now that I have a little bit of a reference so let's see what we can do so I'm gonna start off here and I'm gonna try not to let my overthinkness get the better of me let's see if we can do this I would like it to be hand drawn. But yesterday it was just not happening. Okay. So before anything, um I might have to flash cure, although uh, I'm not really wanting to do that. Because that would mean that it's set in stone and I can't move it afterwards, even if I mess up. And I don't really like that. I like being able to, um, like right now, that I feel like I extended it way too much. But I'm going to kind of leave it because I kind of sort of like it to just see how it looks in the end. And then I can decide on taking it off if I really, really don't like it. Um, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one just slightly over. Right here, I think. Just because I want to have a little bit of space to do the curve. But I need to make sure 
that I don't overdo it either because it is still still a small space so ah, let's hope I can do this I hope I'm in frame too <laughs> okay and then let's do a small little like this that might have been the wrong place to put that Okay, you know what, guys? I actually really like that. So I'm going to connect it. Right here. Okay, actually, it could be thinner, but I'll work with that. I'll, I'll <laughs> See, like, this is a lot bigger compared to that, but... Uh, Hopefully, I'm not making any mistake by flash curing it. Sorry, I have a bend in my mouth. Oh my god. Ah, fingers crossed, you guys. Fingers crossed. Um, but I think I really like it. And I'll show you guys the side by side. I think I'm really happy with that, actually. Next up is going to be the A. So... Uh, okay, yesterday I was tired as well because I was doing this at like 12 a.m., 1 a.m. Um, so maybe I was also frustrated and that's why I couldn't get it done. And also I just didn't, I just didn't have a, um, a sample like to go by and like something to like, to reference, sorry. Okay. So I'm going to put it here so I can reference it. I am going to try and go really, really thin. And I'm going to start at an angle. Right. Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to start with that. And then I'm going to kind of go like this. I hope you guys are seeing this. I'm sorry if I'm not in frame. I'm trying to, I'm trying to focus. Okay. So I believe that that is truth thin, like the space between it. But that's okay. I have a little bit of, um, I have rubbing alcohol here. And I'm going to take off that part. And the good thing is, since that everything else is cured, the only thing I'm taking off would be what I'm working on right now. Um, so that's why I like to work in sections. Okay. I think that made it a little bit wider. Hopefully, it looks like it. So um, I'm just going to thicken it up a little bit because this section is that side is a bit thicker. And then I'm gonna kind of go up. Okay, I think I like that. And then there's also like a little thingy right there. <laughs> Hopefully it looks good at the end. I'm trusting it. Okay, okay, okay. It's coming together, finally. It's coming together. I was a little bit worried there. I'm going to extend it a little bit, just a little bit, without it touching. I'm doing so good, you guys. I don't want to mess it up. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try and do such a tiny or thin, thin line to connect it over here. Okay. I'm not mad at it. Um, I'm just going to thicken up the other side. Okay, that looks better. And then there's like, 
just like this a little like like this kind of I think mine is too thick okay I'm not mad at it yet <laughs> I might end up flash curing this because I don't want to mess it up at this point since majority of it is pretty good if I do say so myself. Or at least I'm like pretty okay with it. Okay, I'm just, I hope I'm in frame. Sorry if I'm not. Okay. Okay, yeah, I've been in frame. <laughs> um, all right, all right. I'm just gonna... So there is this little section here extra, but I don't have the space to do it, I don't think. And I really don't want to connect this or ruin it in any way. So I think that what I'm gonna do is just flash cure it. I'm happy with what it looks like right now. Okay, so that is it right here. And when I say flash cured, I'm actually doing a full 30 seconds, but I could do the 10, but I just prefer it to be in there. But normally, if I'm like doing this, I would normally put like the 60. So, okay, you guys. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, last one, D. D, 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 let's. Oh, and at least if like I don't like how the D comes out, I already have the B and the A, so I can always wipe it off. So that's good. Okay, so this is done, and like the B and the D are done. And now we need to do the D. So in the picture that I sent hubby, these are pretty straight, and then this one was a little bit curved. So what I'm going to try and do is curve it a little this way. Okay, so I'm going to place it here. Oh, I think, oh, yeah. <laughs> no wonder it wasn't sticking. I had it in the wrong way. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is just kind of curve curve it slightly here if I can like I said if I don't entirely like it it's okay because now that the B and the A are done I can always wipe off the D and it won't be that much work to start over obviously I'd prefer if we can do it in one go but if we cannot then that is okay as well since I said I want to kind of curve it I'm going to try to start curving it here. Um, okay. And then we are going to do this up. Okay. Okay. Sorry if I'm not talking too much. I'm trying to make sure I don't mess this up. Okay, I'm not mad at the initial shape. I mean, I know it's not perfect. Um, but right now, what I'm going to try and do... is perfected a little bit so okay gonna go off script here a little bit okay Uh, I think I might have messed it up. Uh, okay. Let's 
see. Actually, I think I didn't do so bad. I'm just going to extend it. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I think I kind of want to extend it this way. And then maybe do like. Oh, yeah, I think. I think I'm okay with that. Oh my, okay. <laughs> I thought I had messed it up completely, my hard work. <laughs> I think I'm going to add a little bit to this, but what I'm going to do, I'm not mad at it. What I'm going to do is flash cure it just so that this is set in stone, but I'm kind of not entirely happy with how big this section is right here. So I had forgotten that I could actually go like this, so I am going to go like that. <laughs> okay, let me try and make this a little bit better. Like, okay, okay. And now I prefer it how it was before. Ugh. Okay, what I'm going to do is take this section off. Okay. Okay. Okay, before this just becomes mush, I'm going to put it in the lamp and then I'll add finishing touches to it. Okay, so I sent Hubby that. Now that I hand drew it, let's see his response. Oh, oh, he was typing. Now he's he, he's visualizing it. He he's inspecting it. Okay, maybe he didn't like it. Oh, oh, okay. Here it comes. Building up the suspense over here. Jeez. <laughs> I know exactly what he means. Like, he means it like this. Very cool. <laughs> That's a good answer. So, this is the finished look, you guys. I am not mad at it. I think my B my D could have used a little bit more, but I was trying to stay within here. So, um, I think it's not bad considering I almost used like non hand drawn ones. I think I did a pretty good job. All I needed was to kind of have a visual. And I should have known that last night because I'm a very visual person. I learned by watching. So, but now I know whenever I get stuck, I'm not really stuck. I just need some a reference point. Um, so let's see this. I am so excited now. Let's just finish up this um this set. I was going to do it kind of like this, but I kind of think that I want to make this a little bit simple since I already have the words and I want the words to stand out so I might just do a diagonal kind of like this one just like a diagonal like that um with the white oh I'm trying to think here okay 
Let's start with the dots. Let's deconstruct this super fast. I'm not, I'm going to try and not let my overthinking brain get the best of me. Um, so what I'm going to do is just, I want dots across. So let's just do dots across first. So I'm just going to make them a little bit bigger. Okay. So I'm going to flash cure this. Or actually, I think it's fine. I think I can leave it there. And then I want a line across. Mm. Like that. Just thickening it up a little bit. It was way too thin. My line work, you guys, by any means is not perfect. It's still sometimes not straight. Like this one. It's getting the best of me. It is not straight. And I also don't want to make it too, too thick. So I'm kind of trying to decide if I'm going to wipe it or if I'm going to leave it. I think I somewhat uh, fixed it a little bit. Uh, let me see the other ones. I mean, the other ones are not perfect either. So I think I'm just going to flash cure this so I'm not overthinking it. Okay, let's flash cure this. Ah. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I am going let's see this. So I'm going to connect it like that and then I'm going to do in here like so okay okay like that so far we're going to flash cure you Oh my god, you guys. Ah! <laughs> I'm in love with it. Oh, I can't wait to put it on and show you guys. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I love this color, like all these tones together. I love the bandana. I think I did a pretty good job at the Old English. Um, the D is a little bit iffy, but I'll keep practicing on these. Okay, 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 uh, let's put them on. So I'm gonna put them on with little um, tabs and I will just show you guys the tabs here. Um, they come in a pack of 24 um, and you just place it on the back. Um, and I'm gonna do that with all of them. And then I will actually come back on when I have them put on because um, I'm going to take advantage of it. And you guys know me. I've been doing TikToks throughout this um, design. And so now I'm going to do a put on video um, with this design as well. So I'm sure you guys have seen me put these on in past studio vlogs and things like that. Um, but I will definitely show you guys what it looks like once they are on. Okay. I am also going to show you guys the rings. Let's see what rings I'm going to put on for this. Let's see. This way. I'm trying to be better at like putting things away. 
as I go so I don't have a big huge mess at the end. Okay, so let me put you guys up. And it's up. And it's down. Okay. So I have a whole bunch of rings. Like, put on a cute that outfit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Definitely going to wear the baby ring. So this one. Definitely. Um, there is another set that I really like to use some of these. And I'm definitely going to use them. I used to just grab my, bun my like, collection so that I could sh tell you guys, like, where each one was from. But I've been, um, just going with, um... Sorry, you guys. I've been just putting on whichever... Does that look cute? No, I don't like it. Um, I've been just putting on just random ones now. Um, just because I'm trying to change up the way that... Um, I'm trying to change up the way that I put on rings for sets and things like that. So... So I'm not really combining them. I think I like that. Um, let's see here. I don't want too much, like, diamond-y things, so. Um, there's another one that I really, really like. Let's see. Where is it at? Okay, I think it's... that one on for sure and I think I kind of want to put like two in this finger I don't know I feel like the baby one isn't really standing out as much as I would like it to okay okay so I'm just gonna be messing around with rings until I feel like I love the way something looks, so I will come back and show you guys once I decide. Okay, so I will see you guys in the next video, but we'll get Hubby's reaction. Uh, I'm in love with these colors. Okay, wait. Okay, Hubby. Are you ready to see this? Yeah. You did a really good job. Thanks. You know, I already saw these last time. Yeah. But they look really good, baby. Good job. Thanks. I really like this color pattern, too. I know. It looks so awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So we will dope. see you guys in the next video.